Hi everybody, it's me again. Uh, it's Thursday evening, I've just been outside to clap for all of the amazing people who are working and um, looking after us all and making sure we've got food in the shops and the hospitals are safe and clean and that we're all okay and can stay safe at home. Uh, I wonder if you guys do that, do you guys go out and clap at 8 o'clock on a Thursday night? Uh, I like it because it means I get to see all my neighbours and check everyone's okay. Anyway, I've got another story for you tonight. And it's a really funny story. Now, this one is not a kind story. I've been thinking about kindness since Monday's assembly. And this story is called Triangle, and it's by Mark Barnett and John Classen. And you might know some stories by John Classen, like I Want My Hat Back, um, which is brilliant. And there's a great puppet production that's been filmed during lockdown uh, that's on YouTube called I Want My Hat Back. Um, and I think it's on the Mellis Facebook page as well. So if you've got some time and you want to see something different, have a look at that. Anyway, this is Triangle. This is Triangle. And this is Triangle's house. This is Triangle in his house, and that is Triangle's door. One day, Triangle walked out of his door and away from his house. He was going to play a sneaky trick on Square. He walked past small triangles and medium triangles and big triangles. There were shapes with no names. He walked until he got to a place where there were squares. Still thinking of his sneaky trick, he walked past the big squares and the medium squares and the small squares. Here he is, look. Until he got to Square's house. Now, said Triangle, I will play my sneaky trick. Triangle walked to Square's door and he said, Hiss! just like a snake. Square was afraid of snakes. Oh me, oh my, said Square. Go away, you snake. Leave my door. Hiss! said Triangle. Hiss, hiss, hiss. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, dear, said Square. How many snakes are out there? Ten? Ten million? Go away, snakes. Oh, Square. Triangle could not hiss any more. He was laughing too hard. Triangle, said Square. Is that you? Yes, said Triangle. I know you are afraid of snakes. I have played a sneaky trick on you. I think he's very happy. Square ran after Triangle, past small squares and medium squares and big squares. He ran past the shapes with no names, past the big triangles, the medium triangles and the small triangles, up to Triangle's house and right to his door. Almost. You are stuck! Triangle laughed and laughed. And then he stopped. He's laugh he stopped laughing. His house was all dark. <gasps> Triangle was afraid of the dark. It's too dark, said Triangle. You're blocking my light. Go away, you block. Leave my door. And now it was Square's turn to laugh. <laughs> I know you're afraid of the dark. Now I have played a sneaky trick on you. You see, Triangle, this was my plan all along. What do you think it was? There he is. Square still stuck in the triangle shaped door. And the last bit says, But do you really believe him? Do you really think that was his plan all along? In my house, we don't think that was his plan, but it's funny anyway. 
I love these stories by John Classen because there are always parts where you don't need to say anything. You can tell just from the character's eyes exactly what they're thinking. Anyway, I'm going to put another story up now. Um, uh, so lots of stories for you to enjoy and I'll see you all really soon. Enjoy. Take care. Bye.